to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here today's video as you can probably tell by the title is a Poundland haul I'm really excited about this one because I went into my Poundland and I've not been in for a few months actually probably two or three months maybe less I don't know but I did ask them they had a refit basically and I said to the guy when did you have this refit because it looks so good and it was about a month ago so yeah I've definitely not been in for at least a month and it looks really different in there they've got a whole clothing section in there now which I thought was really cool because I keep seeing people do clothing hauls from Poundland and I always wanted our Poundland to get the clothes in and they've got them in now which I thought was really great so I'm going to show you that today what I'm going to do is I did film a few clips whilst I was in the store so I'm going to um, put those all together for you now and share that for you in the next clip everything that I saw in store as you could see they've got the clothes in there which I thought was really cool I didn't get to have a good proper look in there because I was actually with Renzo today he's off school today and yeah let me show you what I got I've got my big shopping bag here I actually remembered to take a bag with me today which was good already spilling out of the, of the bag you'll see Mickey Mouse kitchen roll I can't believe this when I saw it so it's Mickey Mouse Disney kitchen towel and oh, it's just so cute look at that the little Mickeys and Minis on it. So I got two of those because I just could not resist them. How lovely is that? So I've got two Mickey and Minnie kitchen rolls, which I'm going to put downstairs in a minute. And actually I've got, you know, the ones I bought from Ikea. I don't know if I showed you them actually, but the other day when I was in Ikea, I bought kitchen roll from Ikea. And what I thought was really good about those ones is you know how like a kitchen, a piece of kitchen roll or kitchen towel is like this size, isn't it? The Ikea ones are split in half, so you can actually just tear off half a size, which I thought was really useful. Quite happy with that, but I'm even more thrilled with these because they look so cute. So yeah, I'm going to use those in my bathroom, in my bathroom, in my kitchen. And what is it that I can smell in here? There's something that's already open. Anyway, we'll get into it in a minute. So I also got myself, is it too dark in here? Hold on. I feel like it's a bit dark, but then I'm squinting not too bad hopefully I'm in focus I'm using my other camera today just because I want to get used to using it again because the other camera that I currently use is literally on its way out but anyway I got some latex disposable gloves by the brand Lily 20 gloves in there I think they were literally a pound and I just thought these are useful for when I'm doing DIYs and painting projects and you know it's just useful to have so I thought I would get some of those because I did say I was going to get some the next time I saw some so picked those up also grabbed one of these a little um dish brush and it's a pink one and it is from the oh what's her name now kim woodburn that's it she's got her own range in poundland so i thought i would get one of those because i needed a new one i also got some sliders for the boys in the clothing section how fab they had quite a few different pairs of sliders and actually i went into primark the other day to get them some sliders and they didn't have any in their size because Vinny, 
often he's he's like a size three now size three size four which is just insane so anyway i got these in a size three for him because i thought those would be quite good they're black they're kind of you know easy to wear they did have some like nice character ones as well for little ones but Vinny likes just a plain kind of slider so i got him those and they were only four pounds which i thought was great i also got some for renzo as well so i picked him up some up because the ones that he currently has are a tiny bit small for him so I got those for him in a size one. So those are lovely. I did buy Orlando some, they're sliders, but they also have like a back on them as well. So you can change them to have a back on them or not. And I thought those would be good. Like when you're on holiday, when you're just walking back from the pool. And those ones I got from Laradu and they are by the brand Crocs that I thought those would be just easy. So I got those. I also got some birthday cards because I just always pick up a few birthday cards when I'm in Poundland. And is this all of them? Let me see three for two yeah so they're a pound each you get three for two and i just go for quite simple easy cards you know that's gonna be for anyone good for anyone we've got a birthday parties coming up soon oh there's the other one one as well which i thought was really sweet so we've got a couple of birthdays coming up actually soon so i thought those would be quite useful for the boys when i'm doing their gifts for their their friends and stuff so um got that the next thing i got what else did we get in here Oh, I got Orlando some slippers because the ones that he has, um, they're a little bit too big for him. They slide off of his feet. So these are for size 9 to 12. I think he's a size, I think he's a size 11. So these are going to be good for him. And they were only £2.50. Black and white ones. They look really soft on the inside. They're like a slipper, like a soft slipper, like a sock almost. And they've got grippy bits on the bottom, which is really useful as well. So I got him that. They've got a huge travel section at the moment in there. So I got one of these luggage scales. I think I bought one of these last year. I can't remember where it is, although it's probably in one of the suitcases. I thought I would get one anyway. So we've got a travel uh, luggage scale. This can weigh up to 22 kilos. I mean, usually your bags are never usually that much more, are they? If, if at all. 23, I think usually it go up to, but yeah, I think usually ours is like 15 or whatever. So I got that to weigh the suitcases i also got some tape handheld tape dispenser i've never tried one of these ones before but i thought that would be quite useful and i like i said i'm wrapping presents at the minute for people's birthdays and i didn't have any more tape so once i got that so i got that and then i also got just these little refill tapes those won't fit this one but they should fit the other one that I've got. So I thought I would get those as well. Just It's just a bit of a stocking up kind of shop today. Stocking up on things that I needed. I also got this one. So this is a Fairy Max Power Country Garden Mrs. Hinch Edition. I've not smelt this one, but I love this like packaging. It lasts so, so long. I've got currently got a lavender one. I've also tried the pomegranate one, but I've never tried this one. It's anti-leak technology. So it's constantly you know, upside down, if that makes sense but it never leaks and it's so good. So I've got that and hopefully, I know you can't smell it, but hopefully that will smell nice. It looks like it would. It's pink tulips and white jasmine. So that is that one, like that. A few little snacky snacks. We got fruit pastels, milky bar. Mm, I love milky bar. And also I've got no room on this table. I'm putting it all on the table. Also, Renzo absolutely loves Doritos, so I got him the multi-pack of five, because otherwise, if I buy him the big pack of Doritos, he'll literally eat a whole lot in one sitting, or most of them. So I thought I would just get him the multi-pack. Um, also, yeah, some Smarties. I do love a Smartie as well, actually. This is like a multi-pack of four. So yeah, I love a Smartie. This is what I can smell. It's already been pushed, I think. Is it already... I think it's already open this one i'm gonna to have to put it down in the in the bathroom downstairs this is the febreze bathroom air freshener i love these ones it's cotton fresh it smells so good i think it's my favorite scent actually out of all of them just a nice fresh cotton smell so i love that and then i got a travel sewing kit i just thought that's quite useful isn't it I'm trying to be more organized like when we go traveling this year right if we go on any holidays or anything like that i want to actually have things that I'm going to, that I could potentially need. And little travel things are just so cute, aren't they? So small. This has got everything you'd need if you like, you know, needed to sew anything up. I just think it's useful. It's a little compact packaging, comes in this little compact case, very small. It's 
it's not going to weigh anything at all so you can just pop that in your bag and yeah it's got a little safety pin in there got some buttons tiniest scissors of all time that probably won't even fit my fingers some tweezers sorts I, I, I mainly got it because it was really cute I get sucked in by miniature things but anyway what else did I get oh I got this um in the kind of like sewing section they had this clothes pen and labels I just thought sometimes it's quite useful to have them because today actually Orlando went into school with his forest school stuff so he's like little wellies because they now do forest school on the day that he's in so I took his wellies in but his wellies are black on the inside and on the outside so I can't really write his name anywhere so I got these little white labels I, I'm assuming yeah so you just iron it so I can just iron it slightly on the inside I can use my little mini one I've got um so yeah I thought that would be useful for things like that I also got some needles because in my little needle set that I've got my little sewing kit that I've already got downstairs the needles half of them are broken because I've used quite a lot of the larger ones for you know things like jeans and stuff when I'm like sewing holes up so I got a 55 no not 55 what is this essentials haberdashery hand sewing needle set it says 55 pieces in here 55 hmm 55 needles in there unbelievable it's quite a lot isn't it but yeah I don't do that much so I also got these ones actually these like giant ones and they're like really big needles again for when I'm doing things like tougher materials I just thought it'd be useful to have because whenever it comes to it and I've got to sew something up I'm like oh, I haven't got that needle that I need <laughs> I act like I do it all the time I actually don't but you know what I mean I also got this labeling set because I saw this one before I saw the one with the pen so I have two now but that's fine you always need those when you've got kids don't you um, what else did we get here got three of these little guys so at the boys have got cricket now so every Friday they have cricket practice so Orlando gets to go in the group with his cousin and his cousin's five at the minute and his mum and dad bought him these little parachutes I think they bought them on Amazon actually but then I saw these in Poundland and I thought oh my god Orlando loved these last time and basically they're like little parachute men in there and you just throw them into the air and they just kind of glide around so I got three of them for each child in different colours so I just thought that was fun I know that Orlando will love these so I've always got one I can just pop it in my bag and it's just a bit of entertainment for them when you're out and about you know if you're like waiting for something or if you go to the park I just thought these little parachute guys are quite useful and they they were very popular when we were at the cricket the other day they look they all loved them so yeah I thought those were quite cute so I've got those little parachute parachute guys can you see them in there little parachute guys so I've got that and then the last thing I got, is it? Oh no, I've got two more bits. Um, one of the last things I got was this instant cooling mist. I love these in the summer and I was just thinking the other day about how hot this room gets in the summer. Thankfully this year we can have our windows open because we've got our shutters now, the cats won't be able to get out so I can have the windows open, we can get a bit of air. But you know on those really hot days when there's just no cool air, I loved using a cooling mist last year. I have had the ones from, you know, more expensive brands like La Roche-Posay. Uh, but this one was literally like a pound, I think, or something like that. And I thought, why not give it a go? Let's give it a little spritz. I mean, yeah, cooling. I'm going to pop it in the fridge so it's always cool. So I thought that was quite a good one to have. You know, when it's like really hot, if we ever get some sunshine, it's literally been raining all weekend and it's Tuesday today it's been raining for the last couple of days and then it just gets a little bit of sun in the, in the afternoon and it's just like everywhere's wet it's really annoying so yeah not my favorite I just thought this time last year it was so hot and this year is not being nice at all so bring on some summer weather very much looking forward to it okay and the last thing I bought from Poundland is something I always like to buy actually from Poundland which I discovered probably last year actually is the gift wrap just really handy again lots of birthdays all the time they've got loads of a huge variety actually of gift wrap and cards in Poundland which I just thought was great so I went for this blue one three meters and I also went for this polka dot one which I thought was very fun as well again three meters so show you up close so those are the wrapping papers that I bought today and you might remember at Christmas actually they had like a sale 
and they had all of the loads of wrapping papers in the sale and they were literally like 25p or something ridiculous and I've managed to get through all of the ones that I bought because I bought like some stripy ones silver blue I think I might have one more blue one left actually um but yeah I needed to top up because you know birthdays and all of that so yeah that was pretty much everything that I bought from Poundland I think that's everything quite a few bits today I think and I haven't been there for a while so it was quite nice to go in there and just see lots of new bits I like that when that happens so yeah thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you all in my next video bye guys